Hi, thanks for checking out Get Going with GarageBand 3. In this very quick training series, we're going to teach you how to get up and get going with GarageBand. Before we get going with GarageBand, I need to talk to you about connecting your guitar or your MIDI keyboard to your computer. On a Macintosh, you have what's called Audio MIDI Setup. I've made a shortcut in the dock. Let's go inside the hard drive and I'll show you where this application is. If we double click on your Macintosh hard drive or your system hard drive, we want to go inside the Applications folder, and then we want to scroll down, and we want to go to our Utilities folder, and inside of Utilities is a program It's called Audio MIDI Setup. Another new feature of GarageBand 3 is the ability to create a podcast. They have a new podcast episode button here. If we click on this, it will actually set up a podcast studio inside of GarageBand 3. Let's actually choose the folder where we want to record our podcast. That could be any folder you'd like. I'm just going to choose my GarageBand folder, and I'm going to call it Podcast Demo. Okay, GarageBand 3 makes it really easy for you to make a podcast. They made it a no-brainer. They even labeled the tracks for you. If we come over here to the top left-hand corner of GarageBand 3, if we zoom in and take a closer look, you can see that they have the tracks labeled, like I said. They have a podcast track. They have a track for male voice. You can even see my voice coming through the audio input now. You can see here on the audio devices side of the program, under system settings, the default input is our Mark of the Unicorn 828. If you don't have a professional USB or Firewire audio interface, you can use your built-in mini plug sound card that's on your Mac. I want to go ahead and use the 828. And once again, over here on the audio MIDI side, we have the M-Audio Oxygen 8 keyboard. Okay, I have my playhead or position indicator at the 10th measure. And now what I want to do is actually click on edit and I can choose split or Apple T. And this will actually split our audio track. If we zoom in and take a closer look, you can see the two little triangles there indicating that we have split the file. And now if we double click on the file, we can actually load it down here inside the editor. What I'm gonna do is click here in the gray background to make sure that our audio track is not selected. And then I'm gonna click on the right-hand side where we split the file and break it off so you can see where we split this. 